Welcome back to Sports Center. I'm Chris Connolly, and in conjunction with the Make-A-Wish Foundation and with the support of Disney, we're turning sports wishes into reality for 10 kids battling serious illness in our My Wish series. Now, when a future first ballot Hall of Fame pitcher on the day before his much anticipated comeback gives a high school hurler the full benefit of his experience, well, there's a wish anyone would want to see. Just out of the suburb's reach, Lonsdale, Minnesota, is a small farming town where, for generations, kids have grown up dreaming of the chance to play baseball, especially kids with the last name Vosapka. I was born into a baseball family. All of my uncles and cousins play baseball. My grandpa played baseball. I just guess I got into it from watching everybody else in my family do it, and I thought it would be really fun. Matt's uncle once pitched in the Royals minor leagues, so there was no question that like so many Vosapkas before him, Matt would be a pitcher. He wants to dominate the game. When that ball's in his hands, he's got control and, and he's going to blow it right by you. And up until he got sick, that's what he used to do. In the heat of last summer, 14-year-old Matt ran a high fever and showed signs of fatigue. He played in a baseball game on um, a Thursday night and he didn't feel well before the game. And he told my husband, he said, I don't, I don't feel good, I don't want to play. And he never, ever, ever, ever said he didn't want to play ball. A trip to a nearby clinic ended with a drive to a Twin Cities hospital. He was in a great mood and he just said, I can handle any of this, Mom. I can handle anything but cancer. He said that. Yet his fears would be realized. By 6 o'clock that Sunday night, we knew that he had leukemia. So. <sighs> his father had hoped that his son might someday make it where no one in their family had ever gone, to the majors. Now, all he hoped for were more days with Matt. You can never spend enough time with your kid. And from what we went through. <laughs> That's what I hate. It's hard to believe he's here. Oh, he's such a fighter. Matt underwent chemotherapy, but it wasn't enough. To save his life, doctors said, Matt would need a bone marrow transplant. When a donor was found, it was Matt's little brother, Mitch. I found out I was a match for Matt, and I felt a lot better because then I knew I could do something to help. The bone marrow transplant worked wonders for Matt, and defying doctors' predictions, he returned to the mound this spring. What was it like for you when he walked back on a baseball diamond? Probably besides him being born with the other kids, probably the happiest day of my life. I just being able to watch him put that uniform out on again and, and get out there and play ball, no matter how he did. What's it like for you to watch him pitch now? Amazing. It's sweet. <laughs> it's sweeter still when Matt comes off the field and his team learns from their coach that his wish will come true. Again, you guys did a great job. Games are Monday night here, Tuesday night here also against Lesur. Um, I got some big news to announce. Uh, Matt Vosapka, our pitcher, has been selected to go to Houston on Tuesday to be with Roger Clemens. So let's everybody give him a big round of applause. Great job. Two days later, well. it's off to Houston, where Roger Clemens is just one day away from making his eagerly awaited return to Major League Baseball. A 
limo takes Matt and his family to Minute Maid Park, home of the Astros. Wow. Ironically, the Astros are playing Matt's favorite team, the Minnesota Twins. All right, buddy. Matt's care. greeted by Andy yeah. Pettit. Nice to meet you too. Okay. Then it's time to meet the Rocket himself. All right, kid. Hi. What's happening, man? <laughs> Not much. Matt, right? Yep. How old are you? Fifteen. All right. Good for you. And from Minnesota? Yep. You a pitcher? Yep. So they tell me. Yep. Beautiful. Well, if you hurry up, then I can really retire. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Matt was just hoping to play catch with Roger Clemens, but the Rockets got other ideas. Come on. Okay. We'll go see if we can learn a few things. Okay. Clemens starts working with Matt, giving Matt tips and insights on pitching so valuable he doesn't want our cameras to get too close. Let me see how you hold the baseball real quick. Show me your grips. That's two, two seam, seam, right? Four seam. Okay. Curveball and slider for me. Okay. Then change up. Perfect. All right, let me show you something here, the reason behind it. Yeah. Two seamer. Obviously, two seams. Yep. When you let it go, you got two seams that cut into the wind. Yep. And that ball will sink. That's that sinker or move force, right? Yep. You know that. Mm -hmm. Cross seamer, your hands are getting big enough. You're 15. Try and come this way. Okay. Now, they head to the bullpen. With Andy Pettit in attendance, it's do, time to take the man. Okay. Remember our grips now. Look, grab that cross seamer like I told you. Yep. Right there. See the seams facing down? Yep. Grab it on that side. Let me see it. Perfect. Get comfortable. Yep. Let's play catch. Nice and easy. Clemens decides to show Matt why having a lazy glove can affect a pitcher's velocity. Let me see your glove. Here's, here's where it is. Watch, stand right there. I want you to watch me. This left side is very important. Make sure it doesn't be, it's like, I call it like a jellyfish. Yeah. Don't let it just float out here to see. Look, okay. here's what it looked like when you first couple throws. See how it was lazy, kind of? All right. And Matt proves to be a good student. Nice and easy. From the stretch. Kick your leg up, and go. Nice, nice, see that, see? Yes. Hey, hey, give me some on being a quick learner. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. All day, all day. It takes some guys a week to figure that out. Clemens even shares his delight with regard to Matt's improvement no, with see, Russ uh, Springer. He wanted to play catch me, that was one of his wishes to, uh, okay. Play a little catch with him, but I said, "Heck, I'm. I, I, it's boring playing catch with me. I want to see you throw." So he's throwing. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. Thanks, Bobby. Give me some, dude. That's awesome. Good job. Come on. And there's still time for a goodbye. Did you have a good time? Yep. And best wishes. I hope you get feeling better and get your strength back. The following night, Matt watches the Rockets return in person. With the help of Roger Clemens, Matt now faces his own baseball future. A 15-year-old who never let cancer shake his faith in his own destiny. I just knew that this wasn't enough. That I'm not going to get taken from this. At all. How did you know that? Just had a feeling. Just knew that there was more, to the, more for me to do than die at 15 from cancer. I knew I was going to beat it. Matt is hoping that as his strength returns, his velocity will also, keeping his major league dream alive and well. You can read more about Matt's day with Roger Clemens at ESPN.com.